So, the amazing power of no contact. No contact doesn't have to be something that's forever. It just has, it needs to be done at some point in our lives uh, for however much time we need. Um, because no contact mostly, what's the meaning of no contact? No contact is, uh, what's the reason for no contact? The reason for no contact is to find our space, to find our, to make some space in our minds um, for ourselves, for our thoughts. Because when, we all know that when you're dealing with a narcissist, um, they suck your energy and they they take in your mind every little space for themselves you know whether it's by being nice to you or by being mean to you or whatever all other techniques a narcissist use they are like constantly they they have you running around like a headless chicken you know constantly day in day out that is what is happening they're using consuming your energy and your power and your thoughts and everything so no contact is obviously something that needs to be done at one point so that you can find that make that space for yourself for your thoughts for your feelings for everything you know and get to know yourself better it's very difficult to understand for someone who doesn't know how the narcissist works how the influence they have on you and and the space they use in your head um, And there is no way, no way you can work with yourself if you are close to them. You need to put that space between you and them for as long as it needs. You need to see logic. Because this is the thing, when you're dealing with a nurse, there's no logic. There's no logic in anything they do, anything they say. I mean, even how they feel is logic to them, but to a normal person there is absolutely no logic. But you, being sucked and being pulled in that web, okay, and having no space in your mind, you don't, you don't see logic. There is no possibility in you seeing any logic either. You just, you just fall in the trap of accepting behavior and because they say the next day we do like nothing happened you do like nothing happened <laughs> and which is crazy but you don't have the space to think that it's crazy you don't have the space in your mind that that little space for logic to come in and say hey 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 no 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 this woman or this man, or whoever, you know, treated you in a very inappropriate way. And you do not have to accept that. And it's not only to say it, it's to believe it. This is the thing, that it, it, it it's in thoughts, in, in light thoughts, and but it's not in you where you believe it. And you say, yes, no, 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 no. No, I'm not, not putting up with this anymore. I am not. I am so much better than what you think I am to be able to treat me like this. And I will not accept it anymore. Instead, we fall in the trap of explaining, of trying and making them understand how we feel, and try and making them understand that they are wrong. And... Uh, it's a waste of time because if we were logic 
would see that this it's a waste of time and there is no point in trying to uh, make them understand how we feel they don't give a shit or is no point in trying making them understand that it's inappropriate the way they treat people or yourself because they don't give a shit too <laughs> you know whatever you say it's not important going no contact is for the main reason you do that is to find to 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 make some space for you and yourself uh, to analyze what's happening and to find the strength it's not about the strength it's not about the strength at all i don't know why i use that word it's about finding the space it's really only about finding the space to reunite with logic with decent logic not the logic that they taught you because they have their own kind of logic uh, and once you find that space then everything falls into into place and everything seems more clear it's to understand what in that role you were playing which was useless and a waste of time once you found yourself then it's so much easier to be in contact again uh, I thought of an example you don't teach a child to flee from fire because fire is fire can damage no you try and teach the child of fire if and of narcissist okay a parent okay so act when we could be in no way <laughs> but at least we can pick up the phone and feel nothing and feel no pain and f not feel attacked and not feel belittled even if they go on doing the same thing they did all these years but you don't feel like that anymore feel better than going completely no, con no contact there's always that guilt there's always that worry you know like yeah what if she falls down the stairs and nobody's there and nobody realizes it, okay it's your conscience that and your conscience is not something that you can not look at ignore so what I mean to say it's isn't it much better to get to the point where you some call it gray rock and but I like to call it um, glass wall okay isn't it better to have that glass wall around you that protects you from toxicity those toxic people throw at you that glass wall knowing that that glass wall is not going to let it pass and that glass wall you made it you made that glass wall by by working with yourself by fixing yourself by under things so they can go on and on why because you simply um, don't let that person get to you anymore because what they have to say it won't change who you are it won't change what you believe about yourself so yeah no contact is 
very important at some point. But if I think if it's ever, that only proves that there's something that we have that there is some there's some little thing that we haven't of that family member to practice and understand and work on that little weakness we have will protect us other people that we meet in our lives we can't pull ourselves away from everybody who hurts us 